hey hi hello and welcome back to my channel happy new year i'm filming this on new year's eve and honestly it happens every year but it sneaks up on you i don't understand i the realization only hit me yesterday that we're going into a whole new year where does the time go anyway Today's video is all about my New Year's resolutions. I want to keep it short and sweet. I have like six goals. I think now is a good time to kind of reset. My goal number one is financial and that is to invest $7,000 into my TFSA for 2022. Right now I have $3,000 in my TFSA and so by the end of the year I wanted an even $10,000. And so that's kind of where the 7,000 came. The $7,000 number is from. Um, I don't know, over the past few years, I've kind of started to get my financial footing and it's really exciting for me to see my progress and see my growth. And I think this year has very much been that for me, me taking a step back and congratulating myself for how far I've come rather than just always looking to where I want to be or where I think I should be. So goal number one, seven invest $7,000 into my TFSA. I do that using Wealth Simple, Wealth Simple Invest. Uh, there's a link down in my description if you guys want to sign up and get $10,000 managed for, your first $10,000 managed for free through my link. It also gives me $10,000 managed for free, not gives me $10,000, manages $10,000 for free for me. Um, so if one of your goals this year is to begin investing, you can start with Wealth Simple through the link in my description. I also have a Wealth Simple trade link that gives you um, $25, I believe, for signing up and making your first deposits and buying your first investments. Goal number two, this one is a more self-care and self-reflection goal. Um, if you saw my last video, I recently purchased the 5 minute journal from Intelligent Change and I'm gonna start using that for the new year, January 1st. Um, I think recently I've been feeling very negative and I think that has a lot to do with feeling overworked and maybe a little underappreciated and putting a focus on using my five minute journal daily for the year of 2022 will kind of help refocus my mind on, um, on taking care of myself and also refocusing on what's important which is how I carry myself throughout the day and not the expectations of others. And I think with how the last year has been going and how hard I've been working, I think taking 10 minutes a day, five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night, it's really not that much to ask just to slow things down mentally. Goal number two, use my five minute journal daily align with a po more positive mindset going into the new year <clears throat> so goal number three i'm sure everyone in my life will be happy to hear this but my next goal is relationship related and it's to work on responding to messages in the moment responding to texts picking up calls all that good stuff I mean, sometimes it's hard because I'm at work and sometimes I feel like my work is op my schedule is opposite from everyone else's, but 
in the last year I have been feeling very distant from everyone and that's on purpose like purposely feeling like I didn't have the emotional energy to um interact or foster relationships and I think I definitely needed that in the last year as time goes on I'm feeling more open to kind of regaining that social energy and allowing people to come into my life more so. My goal number three is to respond to messages in the moment more so than I have been in the past year. All right, goal number four. This one is more fitness and health related and that is to complete a 30 day yoga challenge. Now I know you guys know the Yoga with Adrienne um, yearly challenges that she puts out at the in the first month of the year. Um, I have started a few and completed none. <laughs> um, I think the furthest I've gotten is getting to day 24 and my eldest sister reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do a 30 day yoga practice and usually I do them by myself so maybe an accountability partner will kind of push me over that last week hump to reach the end of the 30 days. Doing a 30 day yoga practice was probably what helped jumpstart my last um, phase of consistent workouts so I think it's something I would have done anyway whether it was a yoga practice or like a Pilates challenge and so I think doing a 30 day practice just to start off the year will be good for me doing yoga practices at home has been one of those things that have kept me feeling like strong and confident in myself my goal isn't necessarily to finish the 30-day yoga practice in january but is to you know if i fail try again the next month and the next month and if i succeed take it for 30 days to 60 days to 90 days type thing i think the goal is just to just to try, just to put in an effort, just to build consistency in in daily movement. And I think that's that's what the overarching goal is. So that's goal number four for fitness, complete the 30 day yoga challenge. Goal number five is kind of a more personal growth, more intellectual, and that's just to read for 10 minutes a day. I think 10 minutes is long enough that if you're in the mood to read, you can get into your book and continue reading, but it's not long enough where it's like, oh, I have to read for 10 minutes. It's like, okay, 10 minutes and I'm done especially now that I have the free time to read whatever I want rather than reading assigned things. Okay, so goal number five, read 10 minutes a day, whether that be fiction or non-fiction, doesn't matter, I'm not fussed about that. I have a few books that I will be featuring in my next haul that I just picked up and I'm excited to jump into. Okay, and goal number six, my last of my New Year's resolutions um, is to double my YouTube videos for 2022. I was looking back at my YouTube channel because I first started posting again in January of 2021 and realized that last year one I started the year with eight subscribers and 
I'm ending the year on the 31st with 51 subscribers and that's like really exciting for me. It's not anything crazy or dramatic but this is the first time that I've kind of stayed with it. It's not like I'm posting consistently on a schedule or anything but I posted um, 13 videos this year, that's what it came out to and that's approximately a video every four weeks. Obviously I didn't post a video every four weeks, it was a little more sporadic. When I started posting videos I wasn't in the best place emotionally and I think making YouTube videos was the one thing that I, like, I enjoyed. It truly makes me happy filming a video and editing it and seeing it go up. Um, whether or not it performs well but it was like the one thing that felt productive but was also like fun for me to do that wasn't me just like sitting in front of the tv or me having to like go to work and be specifically productive and um i'm very grateful to have had this outlet this past year and I kind of want to build on that like I can't control whether you guys subscribe to my channel whether you like the video whether you even watch it but um I can put the energy into doing something that I enjoy something that um this past year has brought me a great deal of joy. My sixth goal of the year is to double it, to post 26 videos a week. That averages to two or one video every two weeks. I don't know if it'll be that <laughs> scheduled. Um, obviously I'd want to like post one video every week but the goal is at the end of the year at least 26 videos. Thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe to my channel. Let's also double the subscribers for the year. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys watch my videos, like them, and hopefully subscribe to see more of me. Um, this has been really good for me. This has been really fun for me. Um, and I can't wait to see what I, what comes of it. Uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to tell your mom I said hi.